For the past eight weeks, we have been covering a proposal for a huge expansion of the state's private school voucher program. It would have made tens of thousands of more students eligible with help with tuition this school year. But lawmakers left town without passing it. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the legislative building. Laura, what do we know about the holdup? Dan, you know, when state lawmakers started session this year, expanding vouchers was at the top of the priority list for Republicans. And just last year, they removed the income limit and some other eligibility restrictions for vouchers. So demand for vouchers went through the roof and they said they had to meet that demand this year. But still, they left town with no deal. North Carolina is already spending nearly $294 million this year for private school vouchers for about 45,000 students. Republican lawmakers wanted to add $248 million more to cover tens of thousands more students on the waiting list, many of them from wealthier families. That would have totaled more than half a billion dollars for this upcoming school year. But the House and Senate couldn't come to a deal, so the expansion is on hold. Timothy Oaks was sorry to hear that. I think that parents should have the right to choose which school they want to send their kids to, absolutely. Linda Brown was not sorry. She's a public school teacher. And I think private schools are fine. I don't have anything against private schools per se, but I really feel like until we can fully fund public school, like that's where our state needs to focus on. When we asked lawmakers why the expansion fell apart, Senate leader Phil Berger blamed the House. He said the Senate gave the House many chances to pass it, but they refused. You'll have to ask them what the disagreement is because uh, I, uh, I am at a loss to explain it. House Speaker Tim Moore said the sticking point was that House Republicans wanted to pair the voucher expansion with additional raises for public school teachers, but the Senate refused to consider that. What our caucus felt like was important, that with the surplus, that we also invest funds in the traditional schools as well, that we do, since we had these additional funds, that we put funds there as well, so that it wasn't an either or. Uh, Speaker Moore said he thinks voucher expansion will happen. He said it's just a matter of time. And he thinks there's a possibility they could come to a deal before the November elections. But Berger thinks it'll have to wait for next year and the new budget cycle. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, live in Raleigh.